that has a long rope, and then you have to use your hands to put the bucket right inside the well, step by step, until it gets down to the water level. This is where the water level is. And then you eventually have this bucket in here with a long rope outside for you now to grab. You end up dragging it one after the other. It's like it becomes very tiring, it becomes very boring, it's not even exciting at all for you to fetch water from this well almost all the time. And most times when your mom asks you, Nketi, you just feel, you, you, you start hiding yourself because you know she wants to ask you to go and fetch water from this particular well. But in a case where you have a simple machine, like this other diagram I'm going to draw for you, you have a simple machine, like something like a wheel, Yes, you have this in the same well, and then you have something like a wheel here. You have something like a wheel here. And then over here, you have something like this. You have something like this over here that goes this way. And then you have a rope here. You have your line here that will go and pass through this wheel and go down to where the bucket is now. Now this is how to use it. Don't forget to talk about simple machines. So in a situation where you have this kind of simple machine in your compound and you have a well there, I won't ask you to fetch water. And you know that all you need to do is to come and hold this handle here and swing it. Swing it. As you keep on winding it, the, the, the water, the, the, the container here or the bucket is going down to the water level. And when it soaks with the, with the water, you now wind it the opposite side and it keeps dragging the container upward for you. When it reaches this point, you now put your hand and take the water, drop it in your container. Now, if I may ask you, which would you prefer? The old pattern or the new pattern? I'm sure you prefer the new pattern because this one is more easier, it is more exciting to do it, it's fun like to fetch water with this simple machine. That is there. And now, let's talk about transportation. Transportation. Our early men did not have any means of transportation because they had no simple machines there. And then they will have to trek with their legs or use animals for transportation like a, a, a horse, etc. You know, for using the horse to, 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 to travel, it's quite tiring as well. But now that we have simple machines like, like uh, vehicles, we have your, your, your bicycle, you have your motorbike. You know, it's easier for you to, to move from one place to the other. Okay, we also have another example of sorts with calculations. When you were in the primary section, you were asked to do your counting. Say one plus one is equal to what? Two. 10 plus five is equal to what? 15. But you are asked to use your counting sticks or your uh, your bottle counter. Counting sticks like this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So if you're supposed to carry out any multiplication or addition of numbers uh, uh, without a simple machine, you are going to be using uh, bottle covers or counting sticks or stones, where you're not going to carry 15 counting sticks like this and then you're not going to put them together. You say 10 plus, plus 5. You're not going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, just to multiply or just to add these two numbers, 10 plus, plus 5, you're going to have a whole lot of sticks in your bag to carry up and down. And then before you now count up to this point and get your solution or your result, which is equal to 15. But with the help of a simple machine, all you need to do is just to press your calculator. I'm not encouraging you to use calculator to solve all mathematical equations, but we're talking about simple machines. Now, when you have a simple machine like a calculator, all you need to do is just to press the figure. This is how the calculator looks like. You have the little screen here, you now have numbers here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four
3, 4, don't have idea, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. You don't have something like subtraction, addition, multiplication, division, etc. This is how the, 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 the calculator looks like, a typical calculator. So if you're asked to, to multiply 10 by 5, all you need to do is just to press 1 and 0, 10 plus 5 equals to, and you get your result. Now, this is a hub, or this is how simple machines can be very useful to us. Let's go back to our objective now. So, hope I've been able to give you a little knowledge, a little light about how a simple machine functions, or how it should be used, or how it is essentially used, or its uses. So now let us look at the types of simple machines. Let us leave. So types of simple machines are, or they include the lever system, inclined plane, pulley, screw, driver, and tread, wheel, gear, wheel, and axle, etc. But for better understanding, for better understanding, let us go back to the definition of a simple machine. Now, a simple machine can be defined as an instrument or equipment which helps to make man's work easier, faster, and more convenient. It saves energy sometimes. A small force is applied to a machine and it overcomes a large resistance or load. When a small force is applied, like the, like, like the illustration I gave you earlier about using uh, that uh, simple machine to get water from your well, a small force is applied, you're just, you're just wheeling it, and then it's overcoming a greater load for you, or a large load or resistance for you. Unlike if you have to use your hand to drag the, 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 the rope up and down, you know, to get the water from the well. So it's easier to use that simple machine. So, we have already stated the types of simple machines. We say we have the lever system. So, okay, take a look at the lever system, the inclined plane, the pulley, screw, and uh, screwdriver and tread. Now, let me throw more light on this uh, screwdriver and tread. Um, most times, or before now, people tend to use nail. People tend to use nail to, to join two objects together. For example, assuming I want to work on a, a bench or a table. Assuming I have a table, I want to I want to nail a table. You know? Assuming I want to nail a table, I have to use uh, I have to use a nail. A nail to hit it like the carpenter or the furniture designer do, you know? How about if tomorrow I intend to change the look of this furniture? If I try to remove the nails or the pins I have used in clipping the two or three rules together, I may end up destroying this particular furniture. But the help of a screw driver and tread or a tread here is, now, have you ever seen a screw nail before? A nail that has threads. You see a nail like this, it has threads in it. I may not be able to get the real diagram here, but just go ahead, look, you see a nail that has thread in it. Now, if that is used with the help of a screwdriver to, to screw a, 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 a two roots to two holes together. Now it's going to be easier for you to unscrew it tomorrow and change the furniture to any other design you want to or any other way you want the furniture to look like. So let's go ahead, we have the radio, we have the gear. Uh -huh. This is where you were referring to, you know machines that uses gear, don't you? You can name them, we have vehicles, we have, uh, this is even bicycles, we have motorbikes, etc. Have they use the gear and we have wheel and axle, etc. So, back to our objective. 
After listing the types of simple machines, now we have to describe the operations of these simple machines. 